Greetings and welcome back to this AI modded version of Distant Worlds Universe. Alright, so episode 13, I think we might just slow down for a little bit here and just have a look around and see what's going on. So I think I'm going to come out here first into our uh, colony screen and we do have a uh, tran troop transport coming up here to drop off some troops so we can take out this uh, pirate base that's not quite finished yet. So yeah, 29%, so we'll be able to get that done. Uh, what else we got going on here? Um, okay, I queued up a colony ship at the last of the at the end of the last episode, so that's going to get in there and start building. Uh, what else should we look at here? I think we're okay. I th should start taxing. Actually, I'm just going to hit the space bar and get some numbers here. Yeah, I'm going to start taxing. I think uh, I, I'd like to wait until I'm maxed out, but I just can't afford to do that right now. Uh, we're we're getting close. Uh, another, probably going to be like 24, 20. 5 billion maybe so we're getting close we're at 8 percent so i think if i go to maybe a 20 percent tax rate and uh hopefully maybe just get us a little better out of the red if we can uh we do have a pirate agreement right now that's costing us a freaking fortune and you know what i think they're going to probably break that anyways so uh it was suggested by um who suggested that just looking ah chris lighthawk suggested we assemble our uh, our ships into the warp force what do we got in here right now we got 626 firepower with 24 fighters in here right at the moment i'm thinking we should maybe get these two ships here there's another 67 firepower on that one not so great but this one here has a hundred with a with, with some shielding so I think we'll put that into, where is that one? I think this is the one over here, yeah. We're going to definitely put that into our warp force. But before we do that, I think I might, uh, it was also suggested by Josh Ike, a 777. I'm, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing your last name right. Um, suggested coming down here to see what that is. So I'm thinking we might have, uh, oh, we've got tons of range to do that. Uh, hoping that we'll find some intact ships in here that uh, don't need to be repaired. We can just pick them up and add to that fleet. So I'm just I'm going to grab this ship and bring that down here right now. Okay, so that'll get that going. I think. Okay. No mission. Why not? Oh, don't tell me I had the wrong ship selected or something. Move to... Okay, there we go. All right, so we'll bring that down. Um, yeah, there wasn't too many comments to, uh, to respond here, just the, the two there. So uh, we're going to just take take some time and go through some of these screens and just make sure everything is uh, looking okay. Um, now, we do have another ship over somewhere over here. That was that one. This one here. Ah, there he is. Uh, we just picked up this ship. We just found this ship as well. He's heading to our warp force, and that's where most of our fighters are coming from. Uh, this one here, not so great, but I'm going to add it to the warp force as well. And then we're just going to keep that around Homeworld and hope that we can maybe get the pirates to come back in with that capital ship and... Uh, oops. And maybe take that uh, capital ship out if we can. So I'm just going to get that to patrol Earth or a warp force for now. Okay, so got that going. Um, okay, let's go have a look at the next screen then. Okay, let's sort by type and let's have a look at some stockpiles. Oh, Keslon is dangerously low. We got 29,000 unfulfilled. Uh oh. That's not a good sign. What on earth is using... It must be the private sector using it all. Because most of my military right now is using uh, hydrogen. Okay. Um, how many construction ships do we have? I'm, I'm just going to source out. i got one ready here. So I'm just going to source out a little bit more Keslon, I think. Just to, I don't know whether that's going to help immediately. But sort by distance. Okay, uh, a couple single sources. We'll avoid those. We'll go for this one. Uh, looks fairly close by, so we'll send that construction ship there. Okay, what else are we looking at? We got a couple zeros. Uh, Dilithium, not going to worry about. I think we actually tried to get rid of the zeros last time, and it looks like we pulled it off other than the Dilithium, so we're okay that way. Now let's look at our stockpiles here. 
Uh, we just acquired Emmer's Crystal. That's why we're a bit low on that. That's fine. Um, yeah, that Kezlon is worrisome. Okay, it looks like we got a bit of a stockpile and everything else. Now, the only problem is if I start building ships now and with no fuel around, we're going to have a problem. And that's kind of what I wanted to do right now is build some ships. I need to build some ships. There's no getting around it. Um, hmm. Okay, well, I have to think about that. I uh, won't worry about the score screen. won't worry about that. Uh, take a look at our characters for a second. I'm down to one intelligence agent. We should get another one soon because we do spawn them quicker. Uh, counter espionage, sabotage. Yeah, he's just going to have to sit here and uh, we'll have to wait for another one before we do any more uh, espionage. <clears throat> uh, how's our colony governor looking? This uh, wasn't uh, revealing traits last time we looked. Troop recruitment is up. Good. Colony happiness is up. That's good. Colony construction ship construction speed is down. But I'm not too concerned about that because we got the backers and it is a scalable trait, so that will go up. And here's our new leader, Hoxerzen. And he now has population growth of plus seven. Uh, his diplomacy will be going up here just in a, in a short second. And everything else looks good, so way to go. All right. Uh, scientists, uh, we're just leaving them where they are for the moment. Just as soon have them on Star Lab personally, but uh, we don't have anybody with high. Oh yes, we do. We have him with high tech. I'm almost wondering if I shouldn't transfer him. What was that energy outpost? Uh, we did put a weapons lab on there, didn't we? Just to help this out. I'm almost wondering I should bring him back because uh, he, this minus two isn't going to go away unless he's actually doing something on that tech. So I think I'm going to move him back to Star Lab. Even though the Inspiring Presence will help the other guy, I think I'm just going to do that and get him back there. Okay, and we got uh, Ship Captain. And one thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a asterisk right in front of the names I've, I've renamed at this point, just so I don't rename them again or anything. Um, I just make sure that uh, I don't do that. And who else was there? I think that was it. So that's all the renamed characters we have right now. Okay. And I think that looks fine. And have a look at our diplomacy for a bit. How are we doing with the... Gazurians. Wow, 32,000. Jeez. Hive mind, so... Need to, okay, so uh, we're not looking too bad, I guess. Um, yeah, I have to keep an eye on them. I don't know if <laughs> I'd be able to do anything against them anyways. They have 12,000. Looking at the Slukins. Okay, they're pretty angry with us. And the Ugnari. I wonder where they are. I should uh, try and find their map if I can. Uh, the Nippur, uh, we have a free trade agreement with them. It's not really doing anything for us yet, but hopefully over time that'll change. We just looked at them. Uh, Entons, I'm liking them because they've hardly got any military. <laughs> uh, Terrapins, uh, they're pretty powerful as well, but pretty passive too. And pretty angry as well. All right. Okay. And the Ancient Guardian, don't worry about them. And Blood Intruders, Control Colonies 4, ships they have 2. One of their ships has 440 firepower, so they got one little frigate or something out there besides this. Not sure what else they would have, but look at the cost. Oh man, I gotta, I gotta cancel that. As soon as I get that warp force in place, I gotta cancel this agreement. But like I said, uh, I get this feeling they're gonna cancel it first. Okay, um, actually let's just come back in here for a sec. Uh, yeah, we got to get rid of that agreement big time. Yeah, it's not us using the fuel because most of those ships are uh, hydrogen based. So it must be the private sector. They don't have a whole lot of ships either. Oh, I'm looking at the wrong column. Well, they got a fair few. So I, I'm guessing they're the guys that are using up all the fuel. So we got to get that stepped up a bit. And... Hmm. 
Let's have a look here at one of these. Yeah, it's okay. Tar and incense. Yeah, everybody's out of fuel here. Yeah, some of them aren't, but some of them are. So we definitely have fuel issues, which is pretty much standard for one of my playthroughs, isn't it? So what I could do maybe is get a couple of uh, resupply ships built, maybe. I might have to redesign uh, one of those. I'm going to do a couple of designs here in a sec, anyways. All right, coming into science, let's have a look at a research station. Of course, this is going to change because I'm moving that scientist at the moment, so I probably shouldn't look in here too close other than to see that we're way beyond potential. So I think I'm just going to... I need a, I need my high tech a little higher, though. And Fugitus Hideout, I should get rid of that. That's not going to really serve us very well. I think I will just to... Uh, just to get the... Uh, the only problem is it's it's also in the enemy territory or an or un, unfriendly territory, but uh, the only problem is there's cargo on it. And unfortunately, that's not a whole lot. A little bit of Keslon, though. That's the only thing. And it's reserved for somebody else, anyways. So I think with that in mind, we're just going to scrap this base. I could give it to. I could give it to them. This is the Enton, is it not? Yes, it is. And how are they feeling towards us? Yeah, pretty happy. They're unhappy with our style of government. And our colonies and bases trespass. Okay. So I think that's what I'm going to do here. Is I'm just going to give them that station. Why not? Eh? I, need, I need some allies, so I might as well try it. I rarely do this, so why not? Uh, where are we here? Enton. So I'm going to give that to them. That takes care of that problem. And that the uh, supply line should disappear shortly there. Okay, so that takes care of that. And just have a quick look through our research. What do we do in point defense? I guess we'll leave it there. Um, I'd like to get out here as soon as possible. So I think I'm just going to continue down that tree and get to there. And that'll give us some nice long-range missiles. And we're getting nuclear fission right now, which will be good for our uh, hyperdrive range. And then we're going to get energy collection and then get into bigger ships. That's fine. And last but not least, long-range scanners. Yes, well, let's get those. That will definitely help out. And we'll pick up target tracking and countermeasures after that. All right, and designs. Okay, yes, there's a couple things I want to do. Um, let's go to state ships. And latest buildable is fine. So, uh, technically we can build up the capital ships, but we only got ship size of 400. These don't even have warp drives on them yet, so the minute we put warp drives on them, we're going to be over. So I'm probably not going to worry about cruisers or capitals right now. Um, I might not even worry about these. What I might do with the destroyer design is make this into a mini carrier. Put one carrier bay on it, and then build like 20 of these, is what I'm thinking for that. I'm just looking at my money here too, but hopefully the taxes will help that. Okay, so I'm just going to, I guess, edit. Well, yeah, might as well hit auto upgrade. Get that up to Mark three. And okay, so we're going to go standoff on both, or no, let's go evade on both. Because this is just going to have carrier or uh, fighter bays on it. I uh, don't need to invade. And we'll throw some armor. I'll just start with, oh, okay, 180. Forgot we had better armor here. And I better sort the way I like it so I can find stuff easily. Um, throw five. I'm probably going to adjust all this anyways. I just want to get the basics on here, and then we'll uh, tune it up. Okay, Jerex and space reactor. Oh, I don't need any more space reactors. I probably will once I uh, put that fighter bay on here. Oh, I don't. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Where is fire bay, fighter bays? Yes, I do have them. Ooh. Okay, let's throw that on right now. That will give us six fighters. So if we get 10 of these ships, that's 60 fighters. And that'll help against the silver mist, too. And as I suspected, we need another reactor. Okay, so have in life.
All right. And we're at 390 at this point. Uh, 56 firepower. I can probably take some of these missiles off. We got 70. How big is a fighter bay? 50. I could get two fighter bays on one of these. What I might do is build fleets full of these and those little escorts I built. And the escorts have the missiles on them as well. But I might take at least five of those off and put another fighter bay on there. Oh, not five of them. One of them. There we go. Twelve fighters. Fighter firepower, 90. <laughs> Ship firepower, 16. Not sure I'm liking that much. Um, yeah, engines aren't that great. Oh, man. Maybe not the second fighter bay then. <clears throat> I need space for other stuff. Uh, if we want to evade, we don't want to be too slow, that's for sure. But I think I'll take these two concussion missiles off. And I'm going to put a couple of pulse blasters on just for a bit of point defense. Oh. Oh, we don't have it yet. 2% uh, towards it. Okay, never mind. Thought maybe if we we're closer to it, I might just wait. But I, I got to stop waiting because uh, we're getting behind here. Um... Okay, a couple of point defense. Fighter firepower is 45 now. But yeah, let's get some more engines on this thing, maybe. Oh, we got crappy ion engines. This is going to take a lot of space to get the maneuverability up. And that's about as good as I think I want to do on that. What am I, I might throw the extra fighter bay back on and take a couple of the shields off. Maybe just one shield. Do something, maybe armor. Oh, look at the fuel on this thing. Good lord. No, I don't need you to go that far. That's That'll hurt our fuel problem, won't it? Um, I think I'm just going to go down to... My, oh, no, one more. Back one more. Yeah, I'm just going to go down to my usual 325. It's not going to go far, but... Uh, at least we won't drain our whatever fuel supplies we have trying to fill these up. Man, that's going to be a problem. I'm not going to be able to get these up and running very quickly. Not very quickly at all. All right. I think I might go with that. We still have 30 space, though. What should I spend that on? Uh, maybe a proximity array? Well, that would be handy here or not. No, it's only three space. Go for it. I could put more engines or um, maybe a few more pulse blasters. Ah, yeah. And a missile there. That way, if anything gets too close, we can at least fire at it. Uh, so 90 firepower from the 12 fighters, so that's going to be good. Uh, if we run across the silver mist, I just notice our cruise is down again. Oh, man. Uh, okay. Try this again. Ion, ion engines are pretty crappy. All right, maybe I'll just lose the missile. Okay. All right, I think we'll just go with that. I could pull another shield, actually. And we'll get maybe some more directionals on it so it turns fast and gets out of the way. There. 20 and 19 should be fine for now. That's about all we can afford to do. A few, false, a few pulse blasters and 12 fighters. There we go. And we will rename this to... Hmm. Let's call it a stinger. <clears throat> Something different from my usual. Yeah, we'll call it a stinger. There we go. So the protectors, uh, I'll probably put in the same fleet with those. Those will probably be a little more uh, hands-on as far as uh, attacking. And one other thing I want, um, I might just copy this design, is a resupply ship. Resupply ship right there. And we'll change the graphics slightly. Maybe give it a nice fat one. Um, 
And we'll scale the image to like 1.5 just so it stands out. All right, and we do not want, do we want to evade? I think we'll just go standoff. I might just throw a bunch of missiles on this thing. All right, so uh, gas extractor. Uh, two of those. Cargo component. Hey, we got standard cargo, good. Tons of cargo. There, 25,000 cargo should do it. And we need docking bays. Say 10 of them. Holy crap, we need a lot of those. Oh, just there. And that was one extra. Probably have to put another one on eventually, anyways. All right, so uh, we have 25,000 cargo storage, uh, 40 gas. That's pretty much maximum. Can't get uh, too much better than that, I don't think. That gives us 400% extraction rate. And 10 bays, so if we have a fleet of 30 ships, then it'll be three rounds to get them all fueled up, and that's going to be fine for the moment. I really wish I had energy collectors, though. Oh, well. And a cruise. Oh, boy. I guess we better get that up, or it's not even going to catch the planet we're trying to land on. Wow. Uh, another reactor, I guess. And of course, anyway, I'd need more of those eventually. Okay. Well, let's get these pulse blasters off here. I'll throw a handful of. a couple handfuls of missiles, sure. This thing's going to be expensive, but it's going to be tough. Uh, not without more shields, it's not. Because this is generally deployed, so you need to give it time to undeploy. And I might go with a bit more armor. All right. I think I better call that a design. That's getting pretty big now. But at the, on the plus side, it'll build quick because uh, we'll be building it where our back or shipyard is. So I think that should be able to catch a planet. It's not going to catch much else. Um, I think once we get to to uh, the better engines, we'll be all right. But I don't know whether I want to put too many more of these on. Okay, we'll go with that. Um, fighters, I, I guess I'll leave those on. That so that's not bad. I guess uh, it might hold up in a fight. But we're going to go with that. Uh, it's going to be pretty expensive to build anyways. And it's not going to be a stinger anymore. It's going to be a refueler. Back to my original names. <laughs> okay. And it's a Mark III, by the way. There we go. A resource profile sensor. That's probably a good idea. Let's get one of those. Okay, let's call that a design before I get totally carried away here. Okay, so there we go. So that's the designs I wanted to do this round. Uh, I'll, I'll do these, I'll upgrade these once I get uh, better uh, reactors and all that kind of stuff. But I just want to get these off the assembly lines as quickly as possible. Okay, so how much time did I spend doing that? 23 minutes. Okay, but I think we got through it all. And we can probably maybe fire this thing up and continue on. And there's our warp force coming back in. And he's off and running. And that line there should disappear shortly. There it goes. Okay. Now, how are they feeling towards us after that little deal? I forget what it was before. But we did lose. Oh, no. Uh, that's That did. Uh, was at like 19. So that's going away. That'll be away, gone away shortly. That'll be eight off of that. So we'll be actually in pretty good shape with them. And we got uh, explorer ships done. We got all our explorer ships done. 33% um, towards our reactors. This is kind of what I'm waiting for to get these retrofitted. Um, got lots of fuel, so I don't know what else we're doing out here. It's almost getting to be a pain to do this at this point. I might even just call this off until we get that redesigned. I think we can come up here a bit, though. Oh, 
Okay, go up in there. You might have to run for fuel, but that's okay. And you. Go see what, oops. Go see what's in that one. Okay, so that's that. And you. Better go refuel. Oh, right there. Okay. All right, so uh, construction ships. All busy. All right. So as soon as they're done with doing whatever they're doing, I better get on some more Keslon. I don't know why I brought the whole invasion fleet up here to do this. Got three infantry, so we'll make sure we get that dropped off. And construction ships are done. Oh no, those are shortages. And our leader, Hawks are Zen. Their diplomacy is now minus one, so our diplomacy is getting a bit better. It was minus four, I think. Okay, so drop those troops and we'll get rid of this pirate base. Oops. Oh, I haven't dropped yet. Okay. I guess it must be on this ship. On one of them, anyways. Oh, there they are. Okay, so let's get that gone. Oop, wrong place. This one. There we are. Attack. Select and 8K. We have 71, they have 8. No problem. Okay, and this fleet can now go back home. Oops, wrong button. Yeah, I'll bring you back to home world. All right, so that's that underway. Okay, and that pirate base is now gone. Oh, what happened here? They finally took it. The pirates now have a planet. <clears throat> that is not good news. Growing at 5% too. Uh, they're not taxing it. Oh, I was really hoping to avoid this, but uh, well, maybe these guys will come up and do something with them. And then if I'm really lucky, the Silver Mist will come up and take out their homeworld. That would be awesome. <laughs> and where on earth are you going? To refuel down there. Are you insane? Stop. That's better. Yeah, we're really low on, sh on fuel here. And here comes a couple more ships for our warp force. All right, and how's this one doing? We're getting there. I'm really hoping there's some ships intact we can just grab and add, add to that fleet. But I get the feeling my luck is kind of running out in this game. <laughs> okay, so minus 27 in the hole right now, and that's exactly what we're paying the pirates. So as soon as that fleet gets sort of assembled around Homeworld, I'm going to cancel that agreement. And there goes another wonder. The Cassiter Weapons Facility has now been built, so we're not getting that. And Meager Prize is now done. So, let's come in and find another source of Keslon. I don't think I need more sources. I think it's just uh, trying to catch up to some stuff is probably what we're going to be doing. All right, what do we got around here? Um, ooh, 100% Keslon there. I think we better go for that one. And it's sort of up, sort of northeast of us. So, yeah, let's do that. It's closer to the pirates, unfortunately, but... I really don't have the luxury of uh, picking and choosing right now. And another money gift from the Nepore. Thanks, 13,000, excellent. That comes in handy. And colony ship, oh, we got a colony ship, I guess. That's right, That I think that finished up at the last, at the end of the, end of the last episode. So what I'm going to do now that that's done, I'm going to build one of these resupply ships. At least one, anyways, for now. I'll get that going. We'll see how fast it builds. And construction stalled. And ah, 
came up here to look at that uh, uh, colony ship. So I think we'll go for maybe this one's 82, 16.5, pretty small. 87, and oh, I have no choice but to just get these. I might go for the outer one here. That might open up something else for us to uh, colonize. All right, so let's come in and colonize this one. Okay, so we get that underway. Just right click to do that. And I'm going to need some troops for that. So I might as well build them here. More expense. And let's go down and find out what we're up against here. Please, please, please. But like I said, I think my luck's running out in this game. Okay. There it is. Let's see what we got. Well, we got Kelters. And we have no ships intact. Ah, oh, that's disappointing. That is very disappointing. Uh, there's an independent in here. I could invade that. But good luck getting down here. I'd have to bring my warp force down with the, the good range to do it. They probably got enough uh, cargo or uh, troop space to do it. But Okay, well, I guess we'll just get out of here. Um, I might just get you to join my warp force. Okay. Oh. Yeah, there we go. Just go making sure he wasn't going to just go after the Kelters instead. All right, so he's on his way home. All right. Um, yeah, there it is. Protection agreement cancel. Perfect. I was just about to do that myself anyways. So I'm expecting their capital ship to wander into the Terrania system sometime soon. Uh, maybe either that system or this one up here. Or just start causing trouble in here. But... Uh, I get the feeling we're going to be coming across that capital ship sometime quite soon. So I guess we'll bring, uh, bring, let's bring this episode to a close. And we'll carry on next time and hopefully we can get rid of that pirate uh, capital ship. And what happened here? Did they rebel? They must have rebelled. Well, that's interesting. The pirates no longer control this planet. Even though they got all the facilities here. Okay, that's different. That's very different. Let's have a look here. They got three ships now. They only had two before. Controlled colonies two. That would be one of them. Okay, uh, did we ever get any more intelligence? Yes, we did. I completely missed that message. Counterintelligence and espionage, perfect. Um, let's get you to go get a quick territory map of some kind. Who would we like to know where they are? Um, I could get the Entons, but I could probably maybe trade for that map. That's not a big deal. Um, the Ignari. I'll see where the Ignari are. And territory. We'll take a year. Ooh, 92%. He's going to be good espionage agent. Excellent. All right, go for it. And please don't get caught. All right, so we'll bring this one to a close. That's kind of interesting with the pirates there. Very interesting. Okay, so hopefully we'll come across that uh, capital ship now that I'm ready for it. With my luck, they won't show up again. So if you're still with me, thanks for joining me, and we'll catch you next time.